this is a quick overview of how you can utilize the kitchen display app to digitally display your clover order receipts this demo takes place in a blue stacks emulator so we can view your clover point of sale environment as well as the kitchen display app all within the same application so we're going to start by generating an order a couple of items we'll get another sandwich in here let's get a couple of drinks so we'll go and review this order what you see here is just part of the emulator so we'll skip that part and we'll go and pay it so I've just created an order within the register app as you can see that order just populated within the kitchen display app so the kitchen display will go to the clover cloud and look for new orders and items every 20 seconds or so um, that are associated to your clover merchant account and then it'll, it'll display here um, this has the order number this particular order that we just did has now been 30 seconds since it's been processed in the register app you can see all of the items are here as well um, this particular order here it was saved so it does not have the time running these particular orders that are have the time in red just means that the order late threshold that you've set up has been reached so it gives your staff um, advisement that that order is running a little late well once your staff completes it they just click on the done button or they can press the done button depending on what type of Android hardware you have once those orders have been completed they don't disappear they actually just get sent to the orders completed screen as you can see that we have 10 of them here there's eight cells you can just swipe to the left and or right and see the other orders so if there was an error you can undo this so if number 30 we undo that order it gets sent back to the orders in progress screen so here's number 30 the time's still running and their staff needs to prepare it again um, we're gonna go ahead and generate an order from the clover dining as well so we're in the main room I'll select table one and we'll just simply generate another order Okay, and a couple of drinks. Let's get to some drinks here. Now, this is Clover Dining, so the order doesn't get closed as of yet. As you can see, it has the table and the server data displayed within the cell. And you can scroll up or down again. Now, here's the good thing about the kitchen display is You've now done those particular items from the order generated from Clover Dining. If you go back to this same table, and now we want a new item, let's say we want a soup. So you put the cup of soup in there. And we're gonna go ahead and go to table two as well. So you can see these pop up. And now we'll go back to the kitchen display. So as you can see, only the cup of soup is populated in the cell that we previously had for this order. The orders, the items that were already done do not appear. And here we go again. Now we have table number two. It's the main room, table number, and the server. Uh, once again, this is a quick overview. Uh, we have more in-depth videos at our YouTube channel. We're always available as well seven days a week to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much.